I want to talk about addictions today. That's right. Technology over the last 20 years, over the last 100 years, has addicted us, we, the civilization of this world, um, to certain technologies, such as uh, the Internet. 66% um, of the 8 billion people in the world have daily access to the Internet. 90% have access to electricity. 86% have a smartphone. 86% of the 8 billion people in the world have a smartphone. 75% uh, have clean water. And 79% have television. The lowest on that is the internet at 66, followed by clean water at 75. But yet, we know that there are certain companies who have made tremendous amounts of money, trillions of dollars, out of addicting us to these technologies. The average person around the world, or at least in the United States, pays $35 a month for internet access, $149 a month for electricity access, smartphone, another $141 a month, clean water, $73, what a bargain and television, $83 a month. Okay, what does that all measure out for the people who provide this? Well, Amazon generates $576 billion in revenue a year off of our addictions. Microsoft, $245 billion. Meta, $142 billion. Google, $305 billion for a total of $1.26 trillion. Now I want to go back to the question I've been asking for the last two months. Why are they buying so many GPUs? Why are they waiting in line to buy Jensen's GPUs? Screaming at advanced micro devices, make a new one, threatening to make their own. Why are they doing this? Well, let's just assume I did a survey and the survey base and basically asked the question, how many people in the next three years of the 8 billion will have daily access to AI and machine learning? And the, the answer came back that the majority of you think it's about 66%, the same as that of the internet. But I used a figure of 50%. So if 4 billion people pay $19.99 a month for access to artificial intelligence and machine learning, that would generate $959,520,000,000 a year. That's 76% of what these four giant behemoths are making right now. 76, they will increase their revenue by 76%. That is why they are buying all the GPUs that they can. Now, the other thing you need to recognize, why isn't everybody else doing it? Why aren't other companies doing it? Well, it's basically the cost of entry. So let's look at that. What is the cost of en entry? Well, to build a, to, to house the GPUs in a data center, you're going to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of $3 million for a rack. So if you have a data center and you buy Jensen's GPUs and you put them in a rack where, where they, they uh, have enough GPU power to achieve what you want, that rack is going to cost you about $3 million each one. You're going to have 12,000 racks in your, G, in your data center. So that means that cost of that data center to deliver the artificial intelligence that uh, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and Google are going to, to generate the $959 billion, it's gonna cost you $36 billion per data center. But yet, don't know how many data centers they all have, it's going to generate you $959 billion a year. That's why they're doing it. They will addict you and I, much as they have with their internet, electricity, smartphones, and televisions, they will addict us to it. And they'll probably start out at a cost of $19.99. And then it'll go up. 
But that's why they're buying all these GPUs. That's why you have to own Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and Google. They are capturing the market. That, and that's any, if, if you look at any new technology, big business adapts at first. They are going to be, Palantir will be buying uh, GPU access through these companies, as will Salesforce. The big companies will do it, but that's not where the big money is because there's so few of them and there's 8 billion of us. We are the ticket to their success. We are what makes billionaires. And until you get it to the general public, you struggle with it. So that's how I'm investing. What I'm then doing is I'm going to rent time from Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and or Google to take my business to the next level, to give me the benefits of com high level compute and to access my TAM, my total addressable market, which are the people who manage their own portfolios. I am negotiating right now with 15 developers from different uh, parts of the world to develop me a program that does what I do manually for 40 stocks, to analyze all 4,000 uh, 250 stocks that I have access to here in the United States through the U.S. exchanges and tell me which are the ones that are going to give me the greatest rate of return over the next five years, two years, three years, based on their past history, their current position relative to what I'm talking about here. Who are the companies that are going to give me the greatest rate of return? Well, I know Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and Google will, but who's going to cool the data centers? Who's going to ensure that that $36 billion worth of computers in that data center stay cooled so they can deliver the data that I need to run my business, that you need to run your life? Who's going to uh, change the makeup of the silicone wafer so that it reflects more heat? Who's going to change the copper wires to, to uh, um, laser beams? Who's going to facilitate Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and Google, and NVIDIA to cash in on the next big addiction in the world? And this one will, will dwarf all the others because you will have to have it. Much as I was shocked when I saw that, what was it? 86% of the 8 million billion people in the world have a smartphone. 86%. And it's only been around, what? Maybe 18 years? 86%. That's amazing. I wasn't shocked by 90% electricity, but I think my 50% on uh, access to AI and using daily use of AI and machine learning at 50% is very conservative. This is the opportunity that lies in front of you and I as investors, recognizing what is happening and how we can profit off of it. This is what I do on a daily basis. This is what I think about. I would ask you, has anybody else shared these numbers with you? Because these numbers, if you can digest and understand these numbers, you can become a millionaire because you know now what's gonna happen next. You know now what the next big thing is. Wall Street hasn't figured this out yet. They haven't. Or if they had, they would be telling you. Now, do I believe that, the, that, that I'm the only one? No. The board of directors of Amazon, Met, uh, Microsoft, Meta, and Google made a decision probably a year ago. We got to buy every damn GPU we can get our hands on. And then every time he makes it better, I'm speaking of Jensen, we got to buy them as well. Because this, this is is the big payoff for all of our companies. This is your big payoff as well. I invite you to come 
and come to our website, Best of Us Investors, and go sign up for our Platinum program. We have a 30-day program where we're, we're going to give you total access, and we're not even going to ask you for your credit card number. Because we believe after 30 days, we're going to be uh, uh, in a position to say, you can't live without it. If you want to become a millionaire, you need to know what's happening in the future. And you are about to be addicted. Think of that. If I had said to you before this video, uh, are you addicted to anything? You might say, well, maybe coffee, uh, maybe Coca-Cola. There's an addiction. But I'm telling you, you're going, you won't, will not be able to live without artificial intelligence and machine learning. And then someday in the future, we'll see what about quantum computing. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer, I'm a retired financial advisor. I love thinking about these things. I love researching. It was so cool going into Google and finding out how many people in the world use um, the internet on a daily basis, 66%. Wow. And then I, I, did, I took this one out. Do you know how many people in the world, what percentage of the world's population have access to a flush toilet? 40%. 40%. I guess that means that 60% are still using outhouses. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. I'm here to help you make better investment decisions. Keep more of what you make by understanding the tax code and build family wealth. Leave something behind that say, they say, oh, Grandpa so-and-so, he really took care of us because he figured out what, that everybody was going to become addicted to uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and bought all this stock portfolio that paid him 66% annualized return. Kerry Grinkmeyer, I'll talk to you again tomorrow.